Hello, hello everyone. Um, good day to you from anywhere you are, part of the world you are. Um, I just brought before us today a further mass question. Mm, this further mass you see is like uh, an application. The question before is an, is an application of calculus. Is uh, if you know about calculus or you or you call it a uh, we call it a, a diff application of differentiation. Differentiation. And that observation is called what calculus. Some textbooks call it a derivatives. Derivatives. Yeah. So it's an application of a calculus. We are going to solve it together. Because these are the likely questions you see in your exam, A level, um, your WAEC, for the mass, for those that are doing for the mass in the WAEC or any exam at all, or it's, it's just a test your knowledge of calculus. Uh, I want you to follow my channel because I'll be dropping very soon a topic on calculus. I'll be dropping a topic on calculus. So, but for those who uh want to know more about the, how to apply calculus maybe you have been taught by your child by your teacher in secondary school and you want to know more about it you can follow you can naturally follow uh this the way i'm going to solve this question it's very simple but it's technical but it's simple it's technical but it's simple now you are not going to rush this question because if you rush it is there's likelihood mistakes uh might be in minutes i get it you might you might likely to make mistake so you have to be careful and as you approach this question now this question call for deep understanding of calculus now let's let's solve it now look at this equation this equation is a is called equ equation of a line with gradient the coefficient of this x is one because it's like one x so the coefficient is what is what is one because any every constant before a variable is the coefficient so the coefficient is the gradient of an equation of a line so first of all let's establish that first so equation uh, line y equals to s plus one half a gradient of m equals to one this is the gradient and one thing you must know is that this gradient is also called derivative. It's also known as what? The y dx. The y dx is just talking about changing y, y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1. So they call it the y dx. Total differentiation, total dy, total change in y over total change in what? In s. So let's have one know that. Another thing you have to know is that they said it has it has a common tangent to this curve so there's a two curve there we have curve one so we're going to solve for the first one curve one then we'll come back to what curve two because the question is asking us to find a b c and d so let's all deal with this curve one first before we come to the second curve is that okay so they say it, it, it let's start from the beginning this line y equals to s plus one is a common tangent to the curves given by s square plus one square a s plus b y equals to one now let's solve for that first it's very very important we are coming for the second curve so curve one is what s squared plus y squared plus a s plus b y equals to what one now you have to be very careful why we are solving one after the other is because we don't want to muzzle things together we don't want to make mistakes now the first thing you have to know when a line has a common tangent to a curve the first thing you know is that they we intersect intersect at a point meaning that is the value of one variable 
the value of one variable which is our y will be equals to the value of another variable which is what x what do i mean in this case what is the value of y here is s plus one so if i if they are intersecting that means that anywhere i see y i'm going to put what s plus one in the in the words in the second uh in, in the curve curve one since they are intersecting since they have a common target and the first condition is that they will intersect at a point they are intersecting at one comma two that means that anyway i see y i'm going to put s plus one so instead of saying s square plus y square plus a s plus b y equals to one i will now say s square plus since it's y here i'll put s plus one this is high square however all square plus a s plus b i'll put was s plus one equals to what one is that okay so uh since they are intersecting at what at one comma two now the meaning of this coordinate means when s is one y is what two this is x here this is what y here so when s is one y is what two so anywhere you see s you put one so i'm going to put one here one square then one plus one square a times one plus what one plus one equals to what one so you are going to have your one square is what one one plus one that is two this part two a times one that is a one plus one that is two times what b <laughs> equals to what one two square is what one plus four plus a plus two b equals to what one so one plus four that is five a plus two b equals to one so we are going to put the five to the other side so that it can become a proper uh equation so you have a plus two b equals to one minus five so a plus two b equals to minus four so this equation what equation one so i haven't solved that i haven't, I haven't uh gotten this equation this is equation one now another we have made the first condition another condition is that the grade the gradient the gradient or derivative must be equal the gradient or derivative must be equal that means that the gradient of line the gradient that means line y m a y s plus one line y s plus one which has a gradient of one must be equal to the curve s square plus y square plus a x plus b y equals to one now the, the curve now this is a curve we have to find the derivative in calculus this uh, curve must be solved in using implicit differentiation so how do we solve that anyway anytime we differentiate y we put the y ds anytime we differentiate s we don't put the y ds so that is where we usually solve it then so we are going to have let's have let's have s squared plus y squared plus a s plus b y equals to one so let's differentiate now so you have 
2x plus 2y dy dx plus a. When you differentiate a s, it give you a. Plus when you differentiate b y, it give you b. Now because of this y, you have to put dy dx there. Then when you differentiate one, it give you what it's zero. Then you are going to collect like terms. So with the like terms here, you have two y dy dx plus b dy dx equals to put the other one to the other side. You have 0 minus 2x minus a. So what, what is common? Dy dx is common. Yeah, you put it out. Then you have 2y plus b equals to 0 minus 2x minus it give you minus 2x minus a. So so we have dy dx, which is not the gradient, it's because of minus 2x minus a over 2y plus b. Now, what is now the value of the gradient at point at point 1, comma 2? So the gradient curve, the gradient of that is the gradient of the curve mc is equals to minus 2 times what is the point the value of x that is one minus a over two times what is the value of y that is two plus b so you have minus two minus a over four plus b but we have established that the gradient of the line let's say ml is one and the gradient of MC is minus 2 minus A over 4 plus B. But we say that for because they have a common tangent, the gradient will be equal. So you are going to equate them. You have minus 2 minus A over 4 plus B equals to 1. So we cross multiply. You have minus 2 minus A equals to 4. 1 times 4, that is 4. 1 times B, that is B. Plus B. So we are going to uh, collect like terms to you. So you have minus A minus B equals to minus A minus B equals to 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is what? 6. Is that okay? So you are going to have equation what? This equation what? To remember that we have established equation one from here. Equation one from here. So we are going to solve one and two now to find our a and b. So solve for a and b. So we are going to take equation one now. So you have a plus two b equals to minus four minus a minus b equals to what six. So I'm going to use my knowledge of elimination to solve it. Since I have a a here to eliminate, eliminate eliminate this, I'm going to put plus here because plus times minus will give you minus. So a minus a will give me we go. So if I put plus here, I will have to put plus here. I will have to put plus here. So plus times minus that is minus. So two b minus b that is b. This one has gone because a minus a is zero. Then minus four plus six that is six minus four. That is same thing as minus four plus six. That gave me what two. So I'll find the value of my b to be 2. Then I can use to, to find my a. Now to find a, I can take any of the equation. To find a, let's use equation 2. So we are find b. So minus a. So I'll just substitute. I'll just say minus a. Minus this b b is two, so just put two here equals to six. You have minus a equals to six plus two. So you have minus a equals to what eight. Therefore, a will be equals to clarify the minus to the other side. That will be what minus eight. So our a is minus eight. So a is minus eight. Why b is what is two now. We are able to solve for A and B. Now, in the next video, 
I am we are going to continue from the next video to solve for our C and D because it is two curves. We are giving we are giving two curves. So we are going to solve for our C and D using the the same approach. You can also try it and send your answers to my uh, to my email be below the description of this video. I've dropped my email there. You can send it to see the solution. But in the next video, watch out for it. I'm going to solve for C and D. That's why it's very, very important to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when I drop that particular uh, uh, video, you will be the first person to actually see it. So watch out for the part two so that we can solve our C and D. So bye-bye. I will see you in the next video.